Hey everybody, today I kind of want to talk about this PPF wood duck mud motor that I have here. I did a previous video on kind of the ultimate small one man crick rig, you could say small lake rig, small river rig uh, for duck hunting. And in the first video I talked about my motor selection and that was a low 1240 John boat. And I just want to make a separate video on the motor that I'm going to put on this boat. What we have here is a PPF wood duck. It's built by Paul Performance over in Hutchinson, Minnesota. And the really cool thing about this company is it's a really small family owned business. You actually talked to Jake, who is the owner of the company. And when I kind of got on this idea of getting this small, really dialed one man rig, I started looking on the internet for the motor that I was gonna put on it. I wanted something that was light, was durable, could go through some really skinny water. And that's what kind of led me to this to this platform of a mud motor. I kind of call them a suitcase mud motor, something that you can pick up, throw them back in your truck, and then set it on the boat, on the transom of the boat that you want to use, and then run into a spot. So in my, in my looking for these boats, or these motors I should say, there's a, a bunch of different manufacturers out there. There's people who make just the outdrive and the handle, and then some rigging for the throttle, and you supply your own motor. Then there's some manufacturers that make the motor, the frame package. And I was really kind of drawn to the PPF wood duck of mainly just kind of the ergonomics and how durable it is. When you touch this thing, I mean, it is really, you can tell that it's very beefy. It's not some just conduit TIG welded together. It's heavy steel welded together. The frame is very durable. And the other thing that I noticed with a lot of the other manufacturers out there is the shaft coming out of the back of the motor was just a straight shaft come, coming out of the motor. So when you see guys online or out in the marsh running these things, it just, it seemed like they really had to bury the back end of the lawn tail into the water. And it just looked like they were really kind of taxing their bodies and that motor was kind of pushing them around. Now the frame on this one, it has kind of a, like, a slight taper to the back end where the, uh, the prop is. So when you're sitting in the boat running it, you don't have to have your, your tiller handle way above you to, to get that, that prop to dig in. And the other thing about this frame is, is they have a plastic nylon, you could piece of plastic nylon on the back that prevents you from digging it way down into the mud. And that's just kind of a safety thing. That way your motor doesn't, you know, it could, it could create kind of an unsafe situation. Now going to the front is just kind of how this handle is tapered coming out to the front of the motor. A lot of the other manufacturers that I looked at, it was just kind of like a straight shaft coming out the front of the motor. And it just didn't seem like it was really ergonomic from when you're sitting on the seat in the boat trying to run it. So now PPF Wood Duck, they make three different they, you can put three different power heads onto the PPF wood duck frame. They make a Predator engine, a Briggs and Stratton engine, and then a Honda engine. And just with some previous experience uh, actually using the Predator engine, I've had really good luck with them. He had them in stock and that's what I went with. And all of these motors that he does sell, they're like a six and a half horse, 212 cc uh, four stroke engine and they're air cooled so you don't have to really worry about that. And the other thing with these small mud motors is they're not like your traditional mud buddy surface drive where those have a clutch. When you start this up, that prop is already spinning. So it takes a little kind of practice to when you pull it over to make sure that that prop isn't sitting in the water because it, you know, it'll push you around. It won't throw you around. It'll just kind of startle you if you're not paying attention. Like I said, I've owned these motors before, this Predator engine, I've been very happy with it. Uh, you know, you have all your basic small engine controls here, your choke, your fuel shutoff, pull start right here. Uh, there is no electric start for them. You have an on and off switch here. And the other thing that I found really cool is he has this tether right here with a kill. So I always just leave mine on and this is how I shut the motor on and off. But otherwise I ran it last season, I was really happy with it. I have it on a 1230. Pushed me about 14 miles an hour with a dog and a dozen decoys. So I was pretty happy with it. 
but I'm excited to put it on this 1240 low that I have here. Just kind of the extra width on this boat, I think it'll give me a lot more stability and I think I should uh, have the same amount of performance like I did with those other ones. So that's this motor. I, like I said, I ran it last year and maybe have five hours on it and it can really get you into some places that even a, even a modern day surface drive really can't get you in. Uh, you know, you, a boat like this combination, you can just slide it off your truck and be in the water. But this is the PPF Wood Duck. I'm really happy with it. It's very fuel efficient uh, also. So we're gonna dump it in the water here in our next video and see how she performs with the 1240 low. Thanks everybody.